Good morning. I am headed out to help my husband in the garden. Have I shown you guys my new baby chickens? I'm excited about it. Let me get my shoes on here. So, I don't know if you can hear. My husband is outside already and he's rototilling. Oh no, that's weed eating. He's weed eating. Let me turn you around so you can see my baby chicks. So my new baby chicks. They're all kind of different areas here. I've got this screen on here just in case my cat gets in the garage. We're in the garage. So we are gonna be in the garden today. Changing some things around. I'm excited about it. We've got a lot of new stuff this year, so he's done a lot already. We're going to take that section out and put more bark sheds there and some more planters. because we don't need a sprinkler here. Okay. So I'm going to make a pipe here. So if we choose, we can have a, a water fountain here. Mm -hmm. I can make something to fit here. Okay. And also, oh, right there, where those rocks are in the lawn, that's yeah. where the other spigot is. Okay. So Mike has built me this. Well, first of all, he built a new trellis for the raspberries. And I've moved the strawberries in here too. It looks a little bit messy right now, but that'll be a lot better. And then we're gonna put netting over the, over this. So this'll be, this'll be nice. So I am excited to get planting. It's still a little bit cold out. It rained all day yesterday. It was actually, it was kind of like the perfect spring weather, um, raining one minute, shining the next. Right, the sun is starting to come back out. So while my husband is removing as much of the grass here, and then we're gonna lay down some black plastic and then put bark dust over that. So it's reducing the size of the grass part of the garden. The only reason we have grass up here is, I personally like to sit up here in my Adirondack chair in the, in the summer, in the evening, and just look at my garden. I love my garden. This planter right here, there's one right here, there's a small one, and then there's another one on the other side. Um, we're gonna move those. I'm gonna take the dirt out. This is the second time I've done it this year, actually. So while he's doing this, I'm gonna take the dirt out. Here he comes. I'm gonna take the dirt out, and we're gonna move them to the center over here. So it's gonna give us more planting space and the new trees that we got can be on the edges of the fence. done so that's gonna be bark dust
and those that planter and the one over against the fence are gonna go in here so I haven't decided if I want them this way or this way right now I'm gonna go make us some breakfast easiest breakfast in the world fried egg sandwich <laughs> you carry it in when you're busy the garden I just think it's a quick easy breakfast So we can start in right away when we get back. Okay, so are you wanting to go get the bark dust? Yes. Okay. In a couple minutes after I finish staking okay, okay. the thing down here. Still a little bit cold out here. So he's putting in a, a faucet over there so I could put a hose over there if I wanted to. Your pants are really interesting. That's a... Some of my knees didn't get wet when I was kneeling. Yeah. <laughs> they were brand new when I put them on. Really? Got here some cedar chips, and Mike has been busy already. Wow, he's got that's gonna look so nice. It's so much brighter than the old cedar chips, but he's got them all spread out really good. Well, I better get to helping. Let's get it over there. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. So do you want to put, like, there's literally room. I mean, you're going to have a ton of room here, depending how you want to use it. You could put two side by side and then have that open. Or you want them, like, come over here, and then your, your berry bushes in behind. I don't know, you got tons of room. Yeah. We made tons of room. Yeah.
That's cool. You want to get the other one moved in? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to show you from this angle what we got going here. So we've got these two planters here now. And Mike suggested tomatoes in there. Genius, I love it. Okay, so my battery is low. I've already had to recharge my phone once. So, and that's what I'm recording on is my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and go plug my phone in and we'll see how far we can get by the time I show you again. Okay, this is what we've done so far. Got all of the bark chips added, cedar chips. So it smells amazing in here. I don't know if you can see it, Mike. He is, got himself a wheelbarrow. He's gonna go over here where that plastic is on the other side of the fence there. That's where we usually grow like pumpkins and stuff. He's going to get some of that dirt and mix it with this stuff for the pots for the trees and stuff. So I'm very happy with my planters in the center here. And I wanted to make sure there was enough room to still get a wheelbarrow around in here. And now I'm thinking what I want in the center here. I guess I don't have to have anything, but maybe I'll put like the honeyberry bushes or some maybe the huckleberry bush or some something in here that's still not going to get big i guess i could put i don't know i don't know yet <laughs> we've done this planter has got nothing done to it so far but this one has been amended we've got the center I think put where we've wanted them I'm not sure what I'm gonna plant in them yet it has been a long day if you remember I showed you the sun over here earlier and it is way over there. It is literally the end of the day. I'm tired. Are you tired? <laughs> the sun is coming out. It's been raining. I wanted to show you everything that we have um, that we've accumulated so far. It's very wet up here. So what we've got going, um, so outside of the fence here, I've got three blueberries, some artichokes, and you know, other random things that we use like chives and that kind of stuff. So in here, I've got my raspberries, and this one is a black raspberry. This one has died, so we just got another one. Um, I think I got a Marion berry. I'll have to look. I th it's either a Marion berry, and I think I got another red. That's what it was, and this is a new one I just got, and it's a red. This one is yellow, and then on the end is a Marion berry. So over here, we have an Espalier, and this one is a pear, 
and it has a Bartlett pair on the top and then here is a Bosque pair and then on the bottom is a red claps pair so I'm excited about having three different kinds of pears on one tree here's another espalier this is an apple this is an a cane apple and the middle is a honey crisp and the bottom is a liberty apple so those are going to be nice so like i said before in these planters on the sides they kind of look like a bookshelf this is where all my herbs and my like leaf lettuce and stuff i might even put like radishes and stuff in here. I'm not sure yet. So here we've got a peach tree. And over here we've got a cherry. And I think this is a rainier cherry. And then this one is a bing Yes, Bing Cherry. And, and Mike is joining me in the garden. <laughs> so these are the new planter areas that we just put in. Actually, let me just step over here. So I can show you, before I show you all the new stuff, I can show you the new area that we've got. I wanted to just give you an overview of what it looks like so here's another cherry uh, cornelian cherry apparently it's related to a dogwood and tastes like a cross between a wild plum and, so, and a cherry and a cherry so it's not really a cherry cherry it's a morphodite but it's really pretty Okay. Has good, nice foliage. It turns color in the fall time, and has a teardrop-shaped cherry-like fruit. Okay. And it That's came from I the know. Ukraine. I think that one did. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new one. So we've got. He's just transplanted some raspberries here, and I have no idea which kind of raspberry. I think it's probably going to end up being a mix. So this is a red currant. We've got a pink blueberry here and over here we've got a grape here we've got a mr. and mrs. honeyberry because you need two here we've got a huckleberry and a josta berry and this bush here is uh, another blueberry so this is an early blue I don't remember what my other ones are out out here on the outside of the fence and over here we've got a goji berry so yeah oh and I forgot these guys in here this is this is another uh, raspberry no this is another Marion berry and these are raspberries I think they're red yes just a heritage raspberry so yeah so what we've got just in general besides what we've got new we have two apple trees we have two plum trees and we have uh, a fig tree and a sumac tree um, which most people wouldn't think that a sumac would be an edible but I make jam out of it <laughs> how's the song go he was singing give me back my bullets <laughs> but he was adding other words to be funny. Cause he's a funny guy. 
So he's dumping the dirt from the hanging basket. So I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna put in those this year. I'm thinking about just things that are gonna hang, like uh, nasturtium and, and stuff like that. I, I love to eat nasturtium. It's my favorite thing to eat when I come up to the garden. So I like to have lots of it. morning I thought since I'm out here feeding the baby chicks I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what seeds I have and um, just give you kind of a rundown of what if you're even interested if you're not just skip this part of the video but I'll just show you real quick what seeds we've got and I am expecting a couple more from Cherokee Nation but yeah I'll just go ahead and turn the camera around now and show you what we've got oh we did go to the garden center last night and get two elderberry plants. So um, I just wanted to throw that in real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. Hey, it's kind of a mess over here. Back here, I've got some red kale. These are seeds that I've collected last year. We've got a couple of heirloom plants, white kale. Both of those are a really good variety of kale. So it's best to get heirloom seeds. That way you can collect the seeds and replant next year. So Mike wanted some uh, microgreens. So we've got a couple of varieties of, of those. And I've got some climbing flowers, um, just random flowers. I always like to have nasturtium in my garden because I love the flavor of it. It's amazing in salads. Um, if you've never eaten it, it's got kind of a pepper taste kind of like a radish so it's really good and you know even says right here try in salads it's really really good even the flowers are good in salads they're just beautiful I always like to have a list some because I like to do um, companion planting and I like to have beneficial plants in the garden um, I just love black-eyed Susan so like I said uh, heirloom seeds are great I'm really excited to find this slow bolt cilantro. I've actually never seen that before. Um, if you're a cilantro grower, you know it bolts really fast. So I'm excited to try that. Got some butternut squash, some arugula, beets, collard greens, some yellow crookneck squash, dark zucchini, um, cucumbers, um, that's just a receipt. I've got some Kentucky Wonder beans. I've actually gotten some bush beans. I don't usually, I always get climbers, but I did get some bush. I always love Kentucky Wonder. It's great flavor. Cucumbers, more beets, some green onions, radish, some acorn squash. I love acorn squash, mostly for like a dessert. Some more zucchini, spinach, some more cucumber, some watermelon, some peas, 
thyme. I love planting herbs. I have some starts, but I've got some sage and rosemary. I've actually never grown rosemary from seed. Some basil, parsley, cilantro, oregano, and dill. So I've also got some more peas here. Um, these are some uh, basket gourd seeds. These come from Cherokee Nation. So if you are a tribal member, you can get seeds from the seed bank and their heirloom. And some rhubarb chard, um, some carrots, and some wax beans. Um, I believe this is peas and some onions. So I got these at Walmart. Um, I'm not used to buying this kind. I still, I think I want to get some Walla Walla onions still. So what's in here are some Cherokee cornfield beans. Those are good. These are all heirloom seeds. Some buckskin girl, some soldier bush beans, some true cram cranberry dry pole beans, um, New Mexico cane bean, Jacob's cattle. I love Jacob's cattle. It is such a good flavored bean for any soup. And some scarlet runner. And these I've got set out. These are empty, but I want to get some more. I really enjoyed these last year. So I just love the color of this. So these are all seeds from last year. I'm not going to take you through each one, um, but I've got, you know, just random seeds. Some Blue Lake beans. I probably will plant these. I do like uh, Blue Lake as well as Kentucky Wonder. Um, lettuces. And just, you know, random seeds. I've got a lot of flower seeds here as well. Not sure if I'm going to plant those yet, but yeah. So this is the seeds that I've set out. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to plant yet. Um, I need to start making out my planner so I know exactly what and where. <laughs> and these are potatoes and some more asparagus and some more potatoes. Wow, I can always tell when my husband's drove my Jeep because I literally can't reach the pedals. I am gonna head to town. I need to fill both my husband and I's prescriptions or pick them up. And I think I'm gonna stop by a garden center. Okay, I am back. I got some new plants. So I got some Super Sweet 100. This is a small cherry tomato. I love having these because my grandkids and my young niece like to eat these when they go up in the garden. And my chickens like them too. So I got one of those. And that's a small size. That's a small size. Sorry, I'm wiggling the camera around. And I got three classic paste Roma tomatoes so I don't know about your area but they're kind of hard to find here the the Romas so I want those for my tomato sauce later this year I'll be canning and I got two of the red beef steak tomato and this is an heirloom so I could save the seeds if I want to um, let me see is that what I got here too no this is a different one this one is Parks Whopper this is a huge tomato and this is a indeterminate tomato and it's a hybrid so the red beef steak is also indeterminate and so is the Sweet 100. The Romas are determinate. So that just means if it's an indeterminate tomato, it just means it'll keep producing all through the year or the summer. And a determinate tomato will produce one big harvest and then it's done. So I am happy with that. So I've also got a few veggies over here 
and I will just go ahead and show you those because if I don't, somebody's going to ask and, you know, like I said with the seeds, if you don't care to watch that part, then just go ahead and skip this if you don't care what kind of plants I got. Um, I actually did get some more seeds while I was at the store and I didn't grab them. They're in the garage. There are a few, I'd say maybe like five different kinds of sunflowers and a sugar pie pumpkin seed because sugar pie is the best. I love that one for baking, so. Okay, so what I've got here are some Jersey Wakefield cabbage. So the picture kind of looks strange. This is just a regular round cabbage. I like to buy the six packs, but if, if you look inside here, you can see that there's more than one cabbage in each little compartment. So you're getting a lot more than six cabbages, which is good because I like to make sauerkraut out of those. I also got a ruby, oops, a ruby perfection. That's a red cabbage or kind of a purple cabbage. This is Utah green celery. And these are all, these are all the six packs. But you know, like I said, they've got more than one plant in them. So this is Italian parsley. I love to have parsley growing in the garden. So many benefits to that. This is purple sage. It's uh, just a really good herb to have. Um, you know, obviously it's great in the kitchen. Here is uh, a thyme. Let's see, it's a silver queen thyme. I love thyme. And I can smell it just handling and I can smell that. So here is a pineapple mint. And it is amazing. It smells amazing. Let's just go right here. This is uh, this is an herb um, that you're you're gonna use in pizza making and stuff. It's just kind of a a, a great all around herb, kind of a similar to an a oregano type flavor. And this is a gold oregano. So you can see the leaves are similar to those. Here we've got a variegated oregano. I love oregano in the garden. Here's some lemon thyme. How beautiful is that? You can see the difference in what they look like. And this is a very, very citrusy smelling. I love that. So here is another six pack of broccolini. And if you've never grown bro broccolini, it is a lot. I find it that I get more, I harvest more from a broccolini than a broccoli. So that's why I've chosen a broccolini. I just prefer it. It it's just tastes just like broccoli. Um, let me see. I think it's a... Uh, a flavorful cross between asparagus and broccoli. So it's just a really, to me, it just tastes like regular broccoli. It's a little bit smaller um, stalks when they grow, but you harvest a lot more. And yeah, and here's a mix of loose leaf lettuce, and it's got just a variety of different ones. Here we've got some Brussels sprouts, and that's a six pack as well. Here I have some arugula. I love arugula. My favorite. It's it's the best for like a breakfast. You know, if you have like any sort of greens on your breakfast, arugula is the best. Here is just another um, blend of loose leaf lettuce. And it looks like it needs some water. Actually, I'm gonna set this one over here. And here I've got another plain Italian parsley. I think that's what, is that what this one is? Yep, I've got two plain Italian parsleys. 
I like to have those in different parts of the garden. Um, here we've got a triple moss parsley. It's a very curly leafed parsley. This is my favorite for cooking. So it looks like it needs some water too. So real quick while I'm just showing you stuff, he, my father-in-law has brought over the first wave, I guess you could call it, of the fuchsias. Now these are older fuchsias. They've been cut back and I do have a video on how to do that. Um, they've just been cut back and put in a greenhouse and they're ready to put out. So I do have more on the way, but yeah, my first wave of fuchsias are here. Okay, that's it. Like I said, I'm not going to be putting these out until a little bit later. So for now, I'll keep them in a covered area. Um, probably not right here. I'm probably going to move them more cl uh, closer to like the hot tub area. And I will be doing a tour here soon. I know a lot of you have asked for a tour in the house and even outside the house. So I will be doing that soon. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to move these over to the hot tub area and keep them watered. Um, it's sort of like a greenhouse over there. So they'll do great there until it's time to plant them. I am really anxious. I am really getting anxious for planting and sitting out here on the deck and enjoying long, lazy days in the summer. Yeah. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Okay guys, that does it for this video. I think we're all ready for planting. So we will see you in the planting vlog. So until then, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye for now.